Okay, let's go to Turf Moor. Burnley against Spurs. Won four away games all season, the Lily Whites. Um, no Harry Kane at the moment. Last time, what happened? Harry Kane, for a game or two after uh, being uh, injured, um, Human Son, Deli Alley, um, stepped into the plate and scored goals. Christian Eriksen. Um, but then after two or three games, they laboured a little bit. So it was good news uh, over the last couple of days that, uh, that Harry Kane will be back for the Derby game, the North London Derby, against Arsenal. But I think Burnley, you know, no loss in the last six at home. Incredible home form. Sean Dyche has got his men. I think they will nick a point this weekend. I'm going to go for Burnley 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1. If you're looking for scorers, Christian Eriksen maybe from a free kick. If you're looking for Burnley, maybe again, a, a, a Sam Vokes, if he's leading the line. Let's go to the Champions Elect, Chelsea Football Club. They host Crystal Palace at Stamford Bridge on Saturday. The tail of the tape, one last ten at home uh, for the Blues. And Crystal Palace, well, they've been a little bit better, it's fair to say, under Sam Allardyce, getting results. Uh, Mamadou Sacco, that I still think should be a Liverpool player has been doing well for them in the heart of their defence. But I don't think they're quite ready to take that big step yet and get a result at Stamford Bridge. This one's going to be fairly cut and dried. You can almost guarantee Diego Costa on the bench um, for the Spanish in Paris, of course, and Eden Hazard uh, on the score sheet. So I'm going to go for a solid Chelsea 2, Crystal Palace nil, and edging closer towards the title. I'm sure we can get... Those title odds for Chelsea on the screen now. Hall City against West Ham United. It's getting very close for teams near the bottom of the table to go from we might be able to win this to just win. Does not matter if we play well, play poorly, long ball, passing. Get everybody out that we can. Tell them how great they are and let's see if we can get across the line. That is now... The situation that Marco Silva is in for Hull City. They face West Ham United. So look at the two, uh, the tail of the tape. Won six of the last eight against Hull City, the Happy Hammers. Um, but again, I, I wouldn't be overly confident of West Ham going there and winning. Particularly bearing in mind that Hull City need to get something. I'm going to go for Hull City one, West Ham United one. And I'm going to go somebody like a Curtis Davis, header from a corner. Uh, dropping in the box, sticks his head in, sticks his foot in, very scrappy. And for uh, for West Ham United, who should we go for a score? Will Andy Carroll uh, be available uh, for selection? Um, leading the line, big man up front, get lots of balls to him. 1-1 one, one between Hull City and West Ham United. What about the current champions of England? And of course, doing very well. Big double header they've got coming up in the next few weeks against Club Atletico de Madrid in the Champions League. This is, of course, Leicester City, and they've been revitalised under the stewardship of Craig Shakespeare, a man who I used to clean his boots back in the day at Warsaw Football Club. They face Stoke City. I've been really disappointed with Stoke this season, not scoring lots of goals, not particularly keeping lots of clean sheets. The kind of football style that Mark Hughes wants to imbue in them has been good on occasions, very good on occasions, and then desperately poor on others. And they'll have a, got a decent wage bill as well. Watch out for Stoke in the next couple of years. I think they need to refresh their playing pool from a sort of older player, 28, 29, 30, 31. They need to really start bringing through lots of, uh, of, of younger players. I know that, um, that they will do that come summertime. They've done that already, of course buying a certain man that only lives about 400 yards away from me, from West Bromwich Albion, um, um, taking him up there to uh, the Potteries. Um, but I think this is going to be fairly clear cut. Uh, they've got the eye of the tiger, um, it's, or the eye of the fox, or the eyes of the fox, um, have uh, Leicester City. Jamie Vardy in good form, looking like the Jamie Vardy of old. A settled line-up players that, let's not forget, didn't just win the title last year, not just in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, but a lot of these guys know what a running's like in the Championship. And in League One, in the case of Andy King, League One, uh, Championship and Premier League. So there's lots of experience of the last eight, nine, ten games and how to overcome nerves and edginess. So I don't think there'll be any uh, ambiguities about this Midlands derby. I think it will be Leicester City 2, Stoke City 0. 
Jamie Vardy and that man Riyad Mahrez back on the uh, score sheet. Let's go to Manchester United, unbeaten in 18 games uh, at home against West Bromwich Albion. We'll be tight, not lots of goals scored, it's fair to say, at uh, Old Trafford. And Tony Pulis, the man that will set up a team properly, to defend properly, to defend set pieces properly, so they'll have no problem at all with some of the bigger players that Manchester United have from set pieces. I think this is going to be one of those where they just do enough, as they've done at Old Trafford many times this season, to get themselves across the line. I'm going to go for Marcus Rashford either starting the game or maybe off the bench uh, for Manchester United to get uh, the goal. Uh, very pacey when he came on uh, for England and he's done himself no harm in front of Gareth Southgate uh, this week. I was at Wembley to watch uh, the game against uh, Lithuania. He did very well when he came on. Manchester United won. Marcus Rashford. Uh, uh, West Bromwich Albion, nil. Watford against Sunderland. Mentioned Hull City. One of those teams that needs to get results. Um, rather than play well or be concerned with playing well. Uh, Watford face uh, Sunderland at the Vic, uh, the Vicarage Road, of course. One of my favourite grounds now. It used to be one of the grounds I really did not like back in the day. Old and decrepit, but uh, beautiful. Got the flags out, really uh, re regenerated the whole club and it feels you're nice and close to the uh, pitch. Uh, the facilities are excellent now. And, of course, they have a Premier League uh, team to be proud of. Uh, they face Sunderland, Jermaine Defoe et al. I just don't think Sunderland are going to have enough uh, to get them across the line, even with Jermaine Defoe. Um, they need a monster result against Watford. Uh, will Watford be on the beach? Are they doing enough at the moment? I mean, just looking at the tail of the tape, one, two, drawn one, lost three of the last six games. So it's a little bit mixed. Not quite sure what you're going to get. Uh, with Watford uh, this season. Midland, it's fair to say. So there is an opportunity uh, for Sunderland to go there and uh, and get something. So look at Sunderland's uh, results on my screen. 1-1, one, one, drawn two, lost three. So not great uh, for the Black Cats. I'm going for a home victory. Troy Deeney um, to get a brace. Troy Deeney 2, Sunderland 1. Jermaine Defoe having uh, been in form recently, of course, again against Lithuania. Um, uh, again, uh, for England against Lithuania. Watford 2, Sunderland 1 at the Vic. A very special offer for core Collymore fans this week. Bet £10 with Boyle Sports and receive a £25 voucher for classicfootballshirts.co.uk. Get on to ballsports.com forward slash Stan to claim yours now. Come on!